Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is all about the area of circles and we're told to find the area, the radius, and the diameter. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now we need to master class the area of circles because in finding the volume of cylinder, the formula there will be pi r squared height. Now this pi r squared class came from the area of the base. So therefore class we can say that the volume of cylinder is equal to the area of the base times the height. Example class for this can, example of a cylinder, to find the volume of the cylinder there will be the area of this base times the height and there will be the volume. Now to find the area of the base we need to use the area of the circle formula because our base is a circle. Once again, class, any kinds of cylinder, the base, the shape of the base, it's always a circle. And to find the area of this base, we need to use the area of the circle formula. So to find the area of the base, that would be area of circle is equal to pi r squared. So that's why, class, we need to master this one for the area of circles. Because there are some questions, class, with regards to the volume of cylinder, you are told to find the area of the base. And to find the area of the base, we need to use the area of the circle to find the area of the base. And the formula, that would be pi r squared. So I hope class is clear for you because there is a relationship between the area of the base, the area of the circle, and the volume of a cylinder. Alright, so if you understand this one class, we'll be answering this one, finding the diameter, the radius, and the area of the circle. Alright, so let me just erase this one class. Alright, so to find the area of the circle, once again, the formula, there would be pi r squared. And then to find the radius, there would be r equals diameter divided by 2. And to find the diameter, there would be d equals 2 times the radius. Alright, so let's start with example number 1. So we have given radius, there would be 15 meters. And then diameter, we're told to find the diameter. So we will be using this formula. Once again, plus diameter, there would be twice the radius. So simply multiply this one by 2, and that would be the diameter. So 15 times 2, the diameter, that would be 30 meters. Easy as that, class. Or you can use this formula, diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. So diameter equals 2, and the radius is 15. So 2 times 15 meters, diameter is equal to 30 meters. Easy as that, class. So no need plus to use this formula because it will take time. Just simply multiply this one by 2. 15 times 2, that would be 30. Do not forget the units, 30 meters. And then to find the area, you need to use this formula. So area of circle is equal to pi r squared. Now for pi class, we will be using 3.14. So pi equals 3.14. So this will be 3.14 times the radius is 15. Once again, class, be careful in writing the radius. This is the diameter. This is the radius. So 15 meters, then squared. Once again, class, do not multiply this one. You always follow PEMDAS. Parenthesis, exponents comes first. So we need to simplify this one first before we can multiply. So simply copy 3.14 and then we simplify this one first. This will be 15 times 15. So once again, class, it doesn't mean 15 times 2. It means you multiply 15 by itself twice. So this will be 15 times 15. 15 times 15. And that would be 225. And then meters times meters, that would be meters squared. Alright, and then we can now multiply. So this will be 225 times 3.14. And the answer is 7. 106.5. Do not forget the units. Square meters. That's it, class. That's the answer for this one for the area of circle for number two. 706.5 square meters. All set. All right. So let's have this one. So we have given 20 inches for the diameter. Therefore, our radius is 10. Once again, class. In getting the diameter, we need to multiply the radius by two. Therefore, if we have given diameter to get the radius, we need to divide this one by 2. Because half of the diameter, that would be the radius. So 20 divided by 2, the answer is 10. So therefore, the radius is 10. So this is 10. Do not forget the units because inches. Alright, or you can use this formula to find the radius. Alright, let's check if we have the same answer. So radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. 
So this will be the diameter is 20. So 20 inches. Do not forget the units. 20 inches. Divide 2. So 20 divided by 2. That's 10. Do not forget the units. Inches. So you will have the same answer anyways class. So simply divide this 1 by 2. And that would be the radius. Because the radius that would be half of the diameter. Alright. And then to find the area. Use this formula. So area of circle. Area of circle equals pi r squared. So pi, that would be 3.14. And then the radius is 10. So 10 inches, then squared. Once again, class, do not multiply. You simplify this one first. Parenthesis, exponents. You always follow PEMDAS class. So this will be parenthesis, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So parenthesis, exponents comes first before multiplication. So we need to simplify this one first. So copy, 3.14. And then, 10 times 10, once again, it doesn't mean 10 times 2. It means you multiply 10 by itself twice. So, this will be 10 times 10. This is 100. And then, inches times inches, there would be square inches. And now, we can multiply. So, this will be 3.14 times 100. 3.14 times 100. And the answer is 314. Do not forget the units class, square inches. That's it. That's, that's for the area of the circle in this given example number 4. So this will be 314 square inches. Alright, so let's have example number 5. Alright, so let's have this one. So our given area is 200.96 square centimeters. And we're told to find the diameter and the radius. So we can use this formula to find the radius. Alright, let's try this one. So once again, we already have given area. So we align this one, 200.96 square centimeters in the given area. So given area, that would be 200.96 square centimeters equals so the value of pi, that's 3.14. And then we're told to find the radius. We don't have the radius class, so therefore simply copy R squared. Alright, so to get the radius, we need to divide the equation right and left by 3.14. So divide by 3.14, divide by 3.14. Now you'll be asking question, sir, why do we need to divide this one by 3.14? Both sides, right and left. Why is that, sir? So that we can cancel this out and the remaining equation will be only R squared. Once again, because we need to divide both sides by 3.14 so that we can cancel this out and the remaining equation will be only R squared. So this will be 200.96 divided by 3.14. So, 200.96 divide 3.14 and the answer is 64. Do not forget the unit, centimeter squared. Equals copy R squared. Alright, and then to get the value of R, simply extract square root both sides so that we can cancel the exponent. Once again, to get the value of R, extract square root both sides so that you can cancel the exponent and the square root, cancel the exponent and the square root. So the square root of 64, that is 8. Because 8 times 8, that is 64. So square root of 64, that's 8. Copy centimeter equals copy R. So therefore, class, the radius is equal to 8 centimeters. Alright, so the radius is equal to 8 centimeters. So this is 8 centimeters for our radius. Therefore, the diameter simply multiply this 1 by 2. So, 8 centimeters times 2, that would be 16 centimeters. That's it. That's all set. So, how about you try this one test? Number 7 and number 8. You try this one given radius and then you find the diameter and then the area. So, you try this one class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check class if you really understand our topic. Once again class, if you have some questions class with regards to area of circles, feel free to leave a comment on the comment section down below. So I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.